Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Let's Play of mine. This is going to be uh, Dark Souls 2 Skull of the First Sin. Um, I know Nick is doing a Dark Souls Let's Play, um, but this one is the new version on the uh, the Xbox One, so... Um, so this this is going to be, there should be, I think there's more item descriptions and I, I guess there's changes to it. Um, I played about, I do have a, a game I started and it, I played about 15 minutes of it and I found one spot where I definitely know there's been a change, well two spots, uh, where I definitely for sure know there's been a change. I did beat the game on the 360, but this came out and I don't have a PS4 yet so I can't play Blood, Bloodborne, that's the game I really want to play, but uh, Dark Souls 2 is always a good game so um, let's just get into it, let's uh... Start Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin. Initial, yep, yeah, game old, come on, let's hidden content, yep, yep. I did figure out what I want to play as, so I do know what I want to, uh, what class I want to play. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. Place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded the symbol of the curse, an augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Of the cursed. 
Sweet. So, there's the uh, cutscene for the very beginning of the game, which is uh, actually very exciting. This game looks, I don't know if it looks any different, but I'm pretty sure they beefed up the graphics in here. and It's rocking it some odd seconds of frame, so maybe I'll figure that out and let you guys know at next episode. But I mean, it looks fantastic. Looks, I don't know, kind of looks the same, but the game looked good in the 360, so I'm sure it looks good on this one. It looks, should look better, I don't know. But it seems we've fallen through a hole, a black hole, that was in the middle of the lake. And we end up at Things Betwixt. Um, I do know what I, I do already know what I want to, what class I'm going to pick. Um, usually I'll play like some kind of strength character or something like that, but uh, I think uh, for this playthrough I think I'm going to rock the, a dexterity build. That is what my plan is. There are these dogs here, these dog things. Um, they won't attack you as long as you don't attack them, so don't freak out people, it's okay. Uh, but if you come over here, see I have played the first one, so I do kinda I do kind of know where the uh, the um, all the secrets and stuff. At least at the very beginning. Later on I kinda kinda fail at that, but it's okay come over here. Now you can go this way and it takes you to a troll which we will come back for and hopefully kill it. But if you come over here, it looks like you're going to fall off but don't worry. Hug the edge and we get a small smooth and silky, smooth and silky stone. Now those are good to give this to these one things which we will get to in a little bit. Run up to this door. Start another cutscene. an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollows prey upon them, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> I do have an idea what I want to name myself. I don't know why I've been, this is kind of my name for all my characters. Our name is just Ice Cream. Who doesn't love a little bit of ice cream? Yummy. Yes. Oh, just kidding. Come on. Done. Ice Cream is my name. Thank you. So here we can pick our class. Like I said, I did kind of know what I want to take, so... Um, swordsman, I did pick Swordsman last time. Has the highest dexterity build, uh, but you do two, your dual wielding. Uh, Bandit has the next highest dex, I think, yeah. With 14 and 9 strength. Um, rocking at level 11. Barely any armor. Let's see. Looks like Vitality is higher. 
and I don't know I don't know what that 11 is I forget I can I can check it hold on help here we go I don't remember what this vitality oh that's vitality was this vigor okay equipment load that's right okay attunement spells I'm not really gonna go magic um, I do know magic and Dark Souls 2 was pretty pretty powerful so and here I think um I'm not gonna rock too much magic unless I feel like I am gonna take well, I think it's what is it intelligence up to 10 so we can talk to this one guy when that time comes but at the moment we don't need to it looks like you get a bow and an axe with some arrows you know I can find an arrow or a bow later the cleric a sorcerer we got an explorer who's kind of even on everything except uh is what the heck is that I don't remember what this is adaptability yeah I don't know why you would want that at the very beginning explorer is not bad swordsman I think we'll probably pick the swordsman the gift uh, I everything all these are good yeah you can take nothing a life ring which is not bad um, a human effigy which we can get a lot more of and it only give you one so I don't really want that healing wares not bad uh, homeward bone it gives you one and we can find a bunch everywhere and you can buy some anywhere seed of a tree draft seed of a tree of giants I kind of want that one and then a petrified something which is not bad as well so I think I'm gonna take this one uh, you can reset everything but don't need to body um, you know, I think I'll go female. Last time I played, I didn't get really go female, so we'll pick a, a medium-sized build, I guess. Physique. We're gonna leave her like that. Face. What? Oh, no. We'll make her white. Jeez, look at it. Oh, so as soon as you change it, it changes. Good lord. What kind of hair do we want? We can't have this because we're going to be fighting all the time. We'll get in our face. Got to have it back. What is this? Oh, it's just kind of cut. I think we'll go like this one. I kind of like this one. Hair color. Um, you know, maybe we'll just go a normal blondish color. She kind of looks like a blonde. Eyebrows. Got to give her girl eyebrows. Shit. Holy crap. I think that's normal-ish. Should we give her blonde eyebrows as well? Now nah, we'll go with that. Uh, eye color. I like the blue. That's good. Tattoo. There's some cool tattoos, but I don't think I really want to give her a tattoo. Why would I want a tattoo with a circle on her face? That's just weird. Um, tattoo color. And then random. Advanced settings. You know, we're never really going to see our face, so I'm not too worried about it. So I'm not going to do that one. See, it's our hair is already covered up, so it doesn't matter. Yes, this is our true self. All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm. Doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> I have to say she's right. I don't want to say that she's right, but she's definitely right. We are going to lose our souls over and over again. Uh, I think I'm going to talk to two of the old ladies and then go back out and fight that troll. You must go on a journey without rest. Well, I suppose if you find yourself at an arm pass. But if your will is yet unbroken, then you may return here. To start again with a clean slate. <laughs> hmm. 
I think she's. Oh, oops. Now go along, go along. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's talking about you can reset your abilities and stuff, your uh, attribute skills. So if we need to. Now go along. Alright, so go she's along. done talking. We'll talk to this other little lady at the table. Oh, she's got nothing to say, huh? Are you sure? What if I keep kicking you? You gonna finally say something? No. No, she won't say anything. Okay. I know she has something to say. I think she has a little bit to say. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So we'll go back and talk to her in a couple seconds. Let's go upstairs as well. There's some nice... There's one nice thing up here. Right here. Chada-bang. Human effigy. Perfect. And then we'll talk to her after we fight that troll. I can't remember what, which way is... Uh, oh. Well, this is a good way, but not the way I thought I was going. Wi-Fi lit. We can sit there, but there's honestly no point sitting there at the moment. For we uh, have nothing to use it for. I mean, we, we can't travel anywhere. That's the first bonfire we've lit. Uh, we have no spells, so we can't attune anything. So, the way is out and back over here to fight this troll. The troll drops a really nice ring. I th oh, they're not trolls, I'm sorry, they're ogres. The ogres. Um, fight the ogres. Uh, the ogres drop, this ogre drops a really nice ring that we need, and it also gives a nice little bit of early experience, which is, which is never too bad. Oh, we gotta be careful, because he does sit on your ass, so. Dodge that shit. Stuff. Dodge that stuff. Hey, what's up? You cannot eat me, buddy. Okay. Ooh, I forgot about the rolling attacks that you can do. Or not rolling attacks, but the... The, um... What are they called? Running attacks, they're what they're called. Oh, that was close. That was a little too close. Now, you have to be patient with that ball, because if you fall too early, or I mean if you go behind him too early, or too, yeah too early, he will, he does a little bit like a, some type of slash damage, so you have to be careful. Oh nice, nice uppercut, that missed, it's too slow, Mr. Ogre Man. See, so, yeah, if we go too early, he just falls in the so. Nice uppercut, come back again for a hit, that was a little... Overzealous of me. I'm getting into a corner, I don't like that. I shouldn't do that. Okay. I need a nice ring he drops is the stone ring. Uh, we will read that because, like I said, item descriptions have been increased, and I'm probably going to read every item that comes by, so every new item. A stone ring, the beloved ring of the gallant shieldless Lothane, formerly of Barossa. Hits, gr hits greatly reduce enemy poise. The effect may seem trivial, but to those who com comprehend how critical it is to exploit a hole in the enemy's defenses, the significance of this ring will be clear. Definitely a ring you need to put on. Uh, we'll read the scimitar real quick. A small curved sword with a narrow blade. The rapid slashing of the lightweight scimitar hardly allows the victim to catch a breath. Has a sharp blade, but is rather ineffective against armor and hard skin. A uh, short sword, a small straight sword, longer than a dagger, but still lightweight. Widely used as it requires no particular strength. A reasonable choice that will suffice in many situations, but not the thing to take along if you expect to face any serious challenge. So I guess that means we gotta replace that. Uh, we'll read the Wanderer's, whoops. The Wanderer's hat. A hood for the roving type. Light, sturdy leather made of long for long journeys. This is the imported hood, by the way. Hemp hood that fully covers his face, provides protection from the elements, and little more. The cursed souls who wandered the lands have a strange way of ending up here, as if drawn from afar by some force. I will read this really quick, except I took it off. Uh, this is Human Effigy, a warm, soft, shadow-like effigy. Use this item to reverse hollowing. It also weakens the links to other worlds, preventing evasions and most corrupt cooperation. Yeah, peer closely at an effigy and one begins to perceive a human form, but, the, but whose form it takes depends on the person looking. Life gens, small stone made up of crystallized souls, gradually restores a small amount of HP. 
often often found near abandoned corpses, as if it were what remains of the soul. A dark sign and a curse mark. The dark sign includes death, returning the player to the last bonfire rested at, at the cost of all souls held. Do what you must to gather the pieces, scraping them into some some semblance of a whole before the will to do so fades. The rusted coin. An old rusted coin crushing the coin temporarily boosts luck. This rusted coin gives you that little extra bit of luck, making items and the like easier to find. The coin is engraved with the image of a god that was worshipped in ancient times, but no one knows its true origins. The souls of lost undead. The souls of lost undead who has long ago gone hollow, used to acquire souls. The soul is the source of all life, and even an undeath or hollowing. The mind seeks souls. A black separation crystal. A symbol of farewells that have been passed down since the time and more, ah, la, la, la. The crystal sends phantoms back to their homes or sends you back to yours. Whether ending in hope or despair, encounters are valuable experiences. Beware fickle use of this item. Bone of Order, online play item. You'll be punished for fleeing from other worlds by disconnecting unjustly. However, this charm will disperse the ire directed at you. But sins are not easily bur buried, and there is no telling if you'll be left so easily next time. Each encounter in life is a precious turn of fate. And fate will not be cheated. This is the seed of the tree of giants, by the way, that we picked that gift. A lump of something obtainable from a tr giant tree makes enemies react to invaders. When the giants fell, they grew into giant trees. Death is not the end for anything that has ever once lived remains a part of a great cycle of regeneration. But what of those outside of the cycle? Then there's a small smoky stone, a small and silky stone used to slightly restore HP. The shine of the stone is no ordinary polish and can only be achieved over a long period. Some in this land are in search of such stones, which is good to know. Whoops, I do want that up. That's about all I want. Um, they, these all kind of say the same. It won't provide much in the way of protection, and it's still the same. The cursed soul wanters land, and that looks about the same too. There is one thing more over here we can pick up. Gold pine resin. I know I clicked that too fast. My bad. A uh, rare pine resin with a golden glint that applies lightning to right hand weapon. The affected weapon inflicts lightning damage for a short time, particularly effective against foes who are resistant to magic and fire. Which is really cool. Did I read the. Uh, yeah, I did. Let me just see what else I have really quick. Nope, that's it. Okay. But that's all of that. I did already check over there, there's nothing there. Go around the corner, I mean you can look off the edge of the waterfall, but there's nothing there either. Nothing over there. Let's head up the stairs. Oh yeah, let's talk to her really quick. This is a limbo. A link between Drangleic and the outer world. Fair traveler. I know that you must have a story. Why else would you visit such a place? I played the first game. This lost, decayed kingdom. My name is Millibeth. Millibeth. The old women who once fire keepers. I am here to look after them. It is what my mother did, and her mother before her. And so on. All right. The old women were keepers of the fire. But now, the fire shows signs of fading. And the kingdom is beset by hollows. Oh, that's not good. The old women are sisters. I am told there was a fourth. Long ago, fire keepers were commonplace. Now they are lost, scattered to the winds. Do you see that? Look at that thing right below her hand. The old okay, so she's done talking. When they start repeating it, that means you have exhausted their dialogue. No, no use in going through it again, so. We will hit this again. Just to save it. It resets, resets everything, but I mean there's nothing for it to reset, so. Uh, hopefully we can get through all of the um, 
the tutorial area and then uh, probably end it there. Let's come over here. This says, oh, RB is attack with your right weapon or your right hand weapon. And then you can lock on. That's right. Okay. Wait, what did I say? Lock on and what? Oh, change targets. Okay. Well, we can't really change targets when they're both dead. You can dash, which there's a guy over here. Comes after you, does one attack. That's it. The game I do want to play, though, because I have played this, um, Dark Souls 2, anyway. Uh, the next game I want to play is uh, Bloodborne. Oh, that's the guy I want to kill. That's where I want to get to. These are pretty cool. I like backstabs. Uh, I do want to play Bloodborne. That looks like a really fun game. It's another Dark Souls-esque game, but it looks like you have to be more of the more on the offense rather than uh, hanging out to the side. So this teaches you how to roll, how to dodge, and stuff. So you need to learn how to roll and dodge, or how to dodge. You can dodge attacks, almost every attack I think. Some of them have to be timed quite well before you can do it, so. Oh, to, to dodge it, sorry, not before you can do it. It's hard to talk and play this game at the same time, I have to admit. Oh, you just press B, you backstep. We'll take care of this guy first. I do like the way the short sword's heavy attack is. It's kind of a poke, which is really nice. Yeah. I am liking the scimitar though. There's a life gem. It tells you how to use a life gem to press X. No need for that. Uh, I think this is done. What we're going to do is come over here. You can listen to these guys. You, you, give us more. Yes, you, give us Ricky. And this is what they're talking about when they say, when this thing says someone wants it. it says, uh, or in such a, in search of such stones, it's these guys. They're saying s smooth and silky, or silky and smooth, whatever they say. You just leave it. Whoops. Say yes. And boom, you can pick up whatever item they give you. Crack blue eye orb is probably, I think, the most common that they give you, which isn't bad. But I was hoping for something better. Like I did that in the, my that one I was testing, you know, and I got the uh, demon great axe or something like that. So they can give you good, good, some good stuff. On to the next area, you can wheel, do wield, which is nice does more damage and it has some different kind of attacks like that was kind of a cool spinning attack for the dodge attack Whoa. that's actually a really cool attack I, that's that's freaking awesome I hate hate this Whoa. okay we're good it always scares me I hate dying I hate dying by falling by trying to make stupid jumps like that to get something Oh, that was an amber. We'll check that out. We'll see what that does in a couple seconds. Alright. I mean, not what it does, but what it is. Uh, where is my amber? Right here. Amber. An annual herb with an amber color so deep it gives the impression of luminesc luminescence. Restores a small number of spell uses. It is the mistaken belief of many that the flowers of this herb do not blossom. However, smart what? However, sorry. Um, small white flowers do blossom during dusk when the moon is visible, which is cool. And then we did pick up this one as well. Crack blue eye Online play item. Invade the world of the guilty. Can only be used by members of the blue sentinel's covenant. Punish the guilty to strengthen the bond with your covenant. Um, I think I remember where that is. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I remember where it is, but I gotta, I gotta think about it. This is telling you exactly how to do everything. You can break guards when they have them up. We're going to do this, got lock on, and then we can plunge attack. It does still hurt you a bit when you plunge attack. Oh shoot, I didn't kill him. 
Dang it. That's alright. That's alright. Who needs extra health? Um, if I would have fallen without hitting him, it would have done... I would have been hurt a lot more, so... It's nice that uh, they do that. Cracked Red Iog, pretty much the opposite of the blue ol, except we're invading. So it's an online play, I'm invaded other worlds, defeat the master of the world, you have invaded to acquire a token of spite. The residual sins of those who have succumbed to dark temptations are contained in the form of the Cracked Red Eye Orb. Maybe I'll invade people, uh, I know there's lots of people online that are so much better than I am, so that is the thing I I don't know if I'm up for. See this is new right here. Right here, come run up here. This is all new. That I mean that one guy right there is not, but the um the frogs sitting there and this frog here. The cursed frogs I think is what that is. Cause that guy will shoot an arrow at you. You gotta kill this guy, I'm assuming, and then that tree falls down. Then it goes there. And then you can run around and then we gotta fall down here anyway. Then it runs around and you can get to that boat over there. And that other ogre. And then you can pull this down and it's a shortcut back to here. I don't know why they have blocked it off with you can go here and it's a it's a statue guy. And you're gonna need um um I can't remember what I can't remember what it's called. When I remember I'll tell you, but as soon as we get past here, I'm going to end the episode. There are lots of messages. They're pretty much saying, hey, good luck. But uh, that's about it. There's nothing really in here. I've checked it all. I don't think there's any secret walls, but we will end the episode right here. Entering Majula. See a big statue thing over there and all that. So not a bad, not a bad place to end. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any tips or something like that, you can tell me exactly how to do stuff. I do know what covenant I want to join, um, but uh, I I do I have played the f this this game on the 360, so I kind of know exactly what to do. But I'm always open for tips. I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Bye.